Hey, listen. Old man named Frank Roberts told me a long time ago, there's three sounds you're gonna hear, and the first time you hear them, you know exactly what they are, having never heard them before. You're gonna hear the sound of a rattlesnake rattling, you'll know what it is. Sound of a shotgun loading, you'll know what it is. And the sound of a slamming of a jailhouse door. I knew what that was. 1968 up in Seattle, Washington. Ah. Beginning of my television career, as a matter of fact, I was televised while trying to buy those drugs off a street dealer up there. <laughs> God, that wasn't a good day. But I got in front of this judge who found out I'd been, I'd been running from the Fed, avoiding the draft. She had quite, quite the sense of humor. She said, I'm going to give you a choice, young man, as to where you want to spend the next three years of your life. Walla Walla State Penitentiary. Our Uncle Sam's Army. I came back from Vietnam. You could have awarded the Purple Heart for the chip on my shoulder to the monkey on my back. <laughs> that monkey was screaming, baby. He was screaming out Mad Dog 2020. He was screaming out Thunderbird Wine. He was screaming out Biamphetamines by the handful. He was screaming out Reefer now, 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 now. I did then what I'd always done all my life. See, I've been a runner all my life, and I don't mean the kind of call for no Nike Airs. So I put a backpack on my back, and I picked up that guitar, that very one, this one right here. I went to Bellingham, Washington. I stuck out my thumb, and for the next two years, me and that guitar, we were homeless. suitcase i'm gonna grab my pack i'm going off to houston i'm never coming back because i'm a long gone baby i'm a long gone away just like the wind if you don't see me back here i'm not coming back this way again let's talk If you don't see me back here, I'm not coming back this way again. Last time. Different kind of deal. 
You don't need no reservations. <laughs> no holds barred. None of that. No thank you. I've had enough. You're not going to hear that on a res. This is about 1974. My arm had been broken in 17 different places. Failure to negotiate the straightaway, I believe is what they called it. <laughs> I had a nasty old cast on my arm. It was broken up. <clears throat> Dirty. My arm was all stinky from eating too much speed. I used to tell people, hell, I'm so broke. I'd be three months behind on my free rent. <laughs> people break into my house, they leave things. Garbage man showed up on Friday. He said, hey, John Henry, you want any? I said, no, go ahead. <laughs> Shoot, I couldn't even do wrong right, you know. Until Christmas Day, December 25th, 1973, this nasty old shack where I was squatting, these three men showed up, Ellie Morgan Sr., Ellie Morgan Jr., and a guy named Uncle Bill. Uncle Bill was an E-7 Marine gunnery sergeant back from his second tour of Vietnam. Not real happy to be in that shack with me that morning on Christmas. The old man was a deacon from the Church of Christ. He said it kind of like this. He said, boy, out of respect, I'm sure. Boy, get up. He said, we're a Church of Christ family. It's Christmas Day. We're giving, and son, you are receiving. He said, come to Christmas dinner. Leave that jug behind. Hear that? He said, leave that jug behind. I, ain't left that jug, I hadn't left that jug behind for anybody for quite some time. I decided initially, I thought to myself, I'm going to say something to make this guy go away. But then I looked over at Uncle Bill, and he wasn't smiling. So I thought better of it, and I said something like, oh, yeah, Christmas dinner, Church of Christ, leave the jug behind. What a wonderful idea that is. <laughs> I spent seven hours without that liquor. And on that day, I left that jug behind. <laughs> I said, no, thank you. I have had enough. Yeah, man. It's a walk. 
talking, not the talking makes that double lucky life for me. You can call me lucky, lucky, lucky. Any song I'm writing, writing in a major key. Not even Good Time Charlie has got a better life than me. You can have the life of Charlie, it's a double lucky life. You can have the life of Riley, it's a double lucky life. You can have the life of Riley, it's a double lucky life for me. Patrick Allen Gallagher. This is from 1974. He was playing one of these things right here, the ten hole harp, and he was <coughs> doing stuff with this harmonica that only two or three guys in the whole wide world were doing. That made him one of the finest harmonica players in the whole wide world, huh? I met him on a job site. <coughs> we were both pounding nails. You might wonder what the world's greatest harmonica players do in pound the nails. <laughs> well, well, Pat had a tragic, a tragic, a tragic thing about him. He couldn't sing a note, not a one. If you've been listening, you'll realize I don't sing very well myself. <laughs> so when he and I would harmonize, it sounded more like baying than singing. A ragtime rodeo was born. <laughs> we were buskers. What that means is we would go tavern to tavern, town to town, making up songs as we went along, which was handy. We didn't know any. <laughs> no, not a boy. <laughs> so we just make them up. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. Off the Indian reservation came a change of luck, found a harmonica player, he's driving a truck. <laughs> Last name Gallagher, first name Pat, we started making us some money by passing the hat. Tavern the tavern, town the town, passing that doggone hat around. A ragtime rodeo, leaving Suquamish, bye bye Indians, hello. Amish. That's hard to rhyme. Try orange sometimes. We're playing all night, sleeping till noon, baying at the sun, hauling at the moon. You want live music with well, okie dokie, gonna be ragtime style, kinda folky. Ain't gonna be no karaoke. I might even tell some kind of bad jokey. I heard Patrick Allen Gallagher got himself a new dog, so I called Patty on the phone and said, Hey Pat, here you got yourself a new dog. He said, Yeah, John Henry, I got myself a new dog, but that dog ain't got no nose. I said, Pat, that dog ain't got no nose. Well, how does that dog smell? He said, oh, John Henry, that dog smells terrible. <laughs> when the hat comes around, put a hundred bucks in there. I won't tell another one. <laughs> hope there's no animal lovers out there. <laughs> Hell, I hope there's no joke lovers out there. <laughs> Yo. Town and town and town and town from Moses Lake in Washington State. We end up on the East Coast, Boston, Mass. I'm riding in this truck, you see, but I'm riding on a prayer. Wherever this old boy's going next, this guitar is going to get him there. Yeah. <laughs> Waylon Jennings, 
Johnny Rodriguez, Jesse Coulter, Sonny Terry Brownie McGee. Now you're listening. <laughs> we're playing in front of, opening up shows for, playing alongside some of the finest blues and country musicians in the whole wide world. My outsides was looking pretty good. You put a cowboy shirt on anything, it's going to look better. <laughs> but my insides, not so much. See, I, booze is a depressant, you understand? Some of you understand that. Brew, booze is a depressant, and I'm anxiety riddled. And I quit drinking that booze, and that anxiety started warming up. It started warming up and just roiling. So by 1975, 1976, my mantra sounded like this. What about me? 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 What? 24 hours a day, seven days a week, my mind's just going, just whirling, just whirling. Won't slow down, won't stop at all. Only two ways to make something like that stop, that incessant prattle. That's meditation. I didn't believe in God. Or medication. I got loaded. You got to watch. Check this. <laughs> My whole life has changed, baby. Pray to Moses too, but I pray to all the boys before the night is through. Hallelujah, chorus. Or I'm beating on a drum, looking for my savior before the dying's done. Sinning, baby, spending all the rent, drinking whiskey and whites and smoking cigarettes. My soul is far behind me when I'm on the run. Before the dime's done. Savior 
before the dying's done. I gotta find my savior before the dying's done. That's it for a ragtime rodeo. <laughs> Folded like a cheap tent. <clears throat> but like I told you, I've been a runner all my life. So I grabbed that guitar right there. Found a waitress. Had a car and a small fortune. 750 bucks. <laughs> Said it was small. Yeah, we, 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 we took her and, her and her Siberian Husky. Pregnant with nine puppies. Picked up a Mandolin player named Ralph, his mandolin, his guitar, his banjo, his Siberian Husky, his cat, me, my guitar, all my clothes, and stuffed them into a 1968 Corvair Monza. <laughs> a, 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 a car, a car that Ralph Nader had written about years before and entitled a book, Unsafe at Any Speed. <laughs> we took off. We're gonna have to work on this together. Okay, I took off from New Hampshire, going up to Fairbanks, Alaska, where I was told that guitar players were being paid a thousand bucks a night, or maybe it was waitresses. Anyway, we took off from New Hampshire, heading for Fairbanks, Alaska, and the throwout bearing started to go, and the clutch went out at Mel's Motel, North Lamar, Austin, Texas. <laughs> Work with me. Mel's Motel, North Lamar, Austin, Texas. <laughs> Who knows? your blues a dozen roses to bring them all to you hoping that will do what'll I say what'll I say what'll I say to make you love me just a word or two a couple more might do coming straight from you won't you help me through like you used to do here you saw me out dancing with some other old sheep cool Poured it into our romancing, but I still want to like we used to. Come on now. Me and 
that old girl, we ended up in a little apartment called 2901 C. Parker Lane in South Austin, back when South Austin was south. Now, that anxiety had been heating up, and I was getting real, 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 real thirsty and very difficult to live with. And one night, she got filled up with my cheap tricks, and she threw me out on the street without a guitar. I realized then that I missed her a lot. <laughs> Thunder shine, moonshine too. Come and go, still I ain't got you. Still I ain't got you. Still I ain't got you. Someday it's true. About a million years. Still I ain't got you. Still I ain't got you. Still I ain't got you. Cry and moan the whole night through. I'm all alone. Still I ain't got you. Still I ain't got you. Still I ain't got you. Woo! Yeah. Nineteen sixty-seven. Called the summer of love. I was down there on Haight Ashbury with that guitar. One just like it anyhow. And I was playing guitar on the street with uh, me and about 400,000 other people all wearing flowers in our hair, <laughs> proclaiming our individuality. <laughs> the irony was wasted on me at the time. But if you'd have told me in 10 years I would be following a spiritual advisor, I'd have conceded the point. Hell, there were gurus down there everywhere. <laughs> Maharishi this, Maharishi that. But if you told me, no, 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 in 10 years, you're going to be following a guru named Frank, and he's going to be wearing coveralls and driving a pickup truck and holding a 45 automatic on his side, I don't believe I'd have gone for that trip. But down there at that 24-hour club, there's this old man named Frank Roberts. And I'd asked him to help me. He said, okay. He said, go get a job. I said, that's a good idea. I said, I got an audition on Wednesday for a gig. He said, I didn't say gig. He said, go get yourself a job. He said, leave that guitar behind. He called it a guitar. <laughs> I told him, I said, well, I've never had a job. He said, well, that's what I'm talking about. <sighs> Four months, six jobs later. I put a backpack on my back, grabbed that guitar, and decided I was going to leave town for Montana, someplace where they'd pay me a little respect. <laughs> or at least that's what I'd heard. But before I left this town, I decided I'd call that old Frank on the phone and tell him what I thought about this go-get-yourself-a-job idea. Old man never had an answering machine. 
And some, sometimes that phone would ring forever. I'm telling you. Buttering, 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 but Frank here, who is this? I said, this is John Henry. And what he said next, he'd be saying for the next 30 years. And it always took me by surprise and put me in a frame of mind where I could do something with his pearls of wisdom. He said, John Henry who? <laughs> but then he went on talking. He said, what's this little birdie told me about you going to leave this town? He says, you've been running all your life. He says, it's time for you to stop and make a stand. You're going to stand like a man and run like a little baby. You've been given a rare and precious gift called sobriety, son. Now don't blow it. And with that, that old man, he hung up the phone. Poof. For the next 30 years, I'd be calling this man. I mean, not all the time. I usually called everybody else before I called him because he never gave me no instructions. He gave me directions. He told me exactly what to do, not how to be. He didn't say be trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly. He told me what to do. Like this one time, I applied for this job, see? And I got the job, but they put me on probation. Now, I knew quite a bit about probation. But this was in the financial services realm, and I didn't know a damn thing about finance, not a thing. They put me in this, this training class, and they were, they were telling me words that I had heard before, but they made no sense whatsoever. They, were taught, they said, money compounds. Well, hell, I'd been a carpenter, and compounds which put over a crack before the painters come, and they paint over that. <laughs> Isn't that right? That's right. And they said, net worth. Well, hell, I lived on an Indian reservation where everybody was a fisherman. I'd heard people say, what's that net worth? <laughs> oh, you got eight of them things. That's what his net worth is. Well, they sent me this training class up, and anyway. Buttering, 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 but Frank here, who is this? I said, this is John Henry. He said, John Henry who? I said, Frank, 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 wait a minute. What? I'm up here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I'm in a training class, and everybody here's got degrees in finance, and I'm a damn carpenter. Everybody here's got suits. I ain't got no suit. Everybody here's got money. I got no money. He says, stop, son. Stop, stop. Nothing that's easy is worth a shit. He said, nothing that's worth a shit is easy. Then he said something that was very curious. He said, where are you? I said, I'm in Minneapolis, Minnesota. He said, no, 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 no. Are you inside or are you outside? I said, I'm inside, sir. He said, for God's sakes, boy, go outside. When you get there, son, he said, pray. Poof. That old man, he hung up the phone. Can't get something for nothing from nobody. Ain't no something that's free Thinking about the time I spent with her Wondering what the cost is gonna be Adam is sitting in the Garden of Eden Munching on an apple with Eve Picking that old fruit right off the tree into a snake that says it's free.
That old man. Like I said, I never called him up asking him for suggestions. I always asked him up, called him up asking for direction. What do I do now? What do I do? What do I do right now? I didn't call him off, but when I called him, I was ready. And he'd tell me what to do, and sometimes I would do it for years before I realized that's pretty wise. <laughs> like this one time. I called old Frank on the phone. It sounded like this. Bring, 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 bring. Bring, bring, but Frank here, who is this? I said, this is John Henry. And he said, John Henry who? Frank, 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 listen to me now. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. My wife has introduced me to her boyfriend. <laughs> he said, well, good. No, slowly this time. My wife has introduced me to her boyfriend and she wants the house. He said, well, good, good, good. No, no, old man, listen. My wife has a boyfriend, she wants a house, and she wants me to pay him alimony so they don't have to work so hard. He said, well, that's good, that's, that's good. I said, it's not that good. He said, well, if you keep saying it is, eventually it just may be. <laughs> she got the house. That was good. Yeah, I got all the debt and all the taxes. That was good. She got all the cash. That was good. Called him up one time. I said, "But, but, but she, she got the she got the house. I got the taxes, and she wants me to pay her alimony so they don't have to work." He said, "Ooh." <laughs> he, said, he said, well, it could be worse. I said, how? He said, hell, that could be me. <laughs> <laughs> Empathy was not his strong point. <laughs> Many times. <laughs> Ooh, oh, yeah. You what? Wow. He didn't even know what that meant. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Yeah. She got to have this one sound like this one. It's kind of hard. Coffee in the morning, little shine up on my shoes, a little jingle in my pocket, a little chase away the blues. Lady here beside me, little something else to do, a little busy getting lucky, gonna chase away the blues. To the adjustment, little loving what I do, a little fake it, little make it, little lie until it's true. Friday coming, Monday, little everybody find a little blues are all behind me, little gentle on my mind. Yeah, man. A little scat, a little whistle, a little pop, a little jazz. Oh, and knowing nothing, little paid up on my dues, a little busy getting lucky, gonna chase away the blues. Bye bye, blues.
A little coffee in the morning, a little shine up on my shoes, a little jingle in my pocket, a little chase away the blues. Lady here beside me, a little something else to do, a little busy getting lucky, gonna chase away the blues. 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 It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. <laughs> oh, except this time. You know, that old man, <laughs> this old man, he had eras of advice. <laughs> where, where no matter what, no, no matter what the hell happened, I would call him up and he would give me the same advice sometimes for years. Like, like there was, there was the, the notorious <laughs> live within the confides. For a year, I say, such and such and so and so has happened. What do I do? He said, live within the confides of the day. <laughs> live within the confines of the day. <laughs> live within the confines. And then, then there was that mysterious ever vigil time. I would call him up and I'd explain the situation. He'd say, ever vigil. <laughs> And, the, and, the, <laughs> and, the, and, the, and I, I still don't understand this one. I would call him up and say, what do I do about such and such and so? He said, don't cast your pearls before swine. <laughs> <laughs> well, then there was this time. I, anyway, it goes like this. Bittering, 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 bittering. But Frank here, who is this? I said, this is John Henry. And he said... <laughs> yeah, that's a pile of humility up here. You know that? <laughs> I said, Frank, 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 listen to me. It's a hostile stock takeover. They, 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 they got all the power. They got all, they got all the power. They got all the prestige. They got all the money. They got all the laws on their side. I'm going to be left broke, not a dollar to my name, not a penny, not a dime, not a farthing. He said, have you stopped to smell the flowers? <laughs> he said, I'll tell you what you do. He said, Go get that Epstein girl. You like her, and she seems to like you. He said, get in your brand new car. And he said, I want you to go up to Fredericksburg, like nothing else will do. Go up to Fredericksburg. He said, there's a wonderful museum up there all about World War II. She'll just love it. <laughs> he said, and son, when you get up there, get you a big old plate of barbecue. And with that, he hung up the phone. <laughs> See, there's no problem that can't be avoided by eating barbecue. <laughs> Ain't gonna be no scrambling, no rambling, no <laughs> try it again. Ain't gonna be no worrying, no scrambling, no scurrying. No gotta get it wow, the getting's good. No need to make a go of it, no call to make a show of it, no biggest in the whole damn neighborhood. Easy coming, easy going. You can call me easy cause it's so. Easy money, easy loving. Coming to me when I'm moving slow I don't need to see the hand you got I don't want to read no script a lot There's only so much that I need to know I don't go much for perfection Overwork and old correction I've got jug band music on my radio Easy coming, easy going can call me easy cause it's so easy money easy loving easy coming to me when I'm moving slow Come on.
and easy going You can call me easy cause it's so Easy money, easy loving so Coming to me when I'm moving Easy coming when I'm moving slow Thank you very much. Well, like any disciple of any great guru, <laughs> when times got good, I quit calling. Times got good, man. I tell you what, those pearls of wisdom that he gave me, say it's good, say it's good, say it's good, say it's good. Eventually it may be so. Well, it came to be. That go get yourself a job idea, <laughs> I started my own company. It was doing quite well. One time I looked at that old man, I said, I'm never going to get married again. He didn't even blink. He said, yeah, you will. You're the marrying type. Well, I've been married now for 45 years. Last 20, the same woman. <laughs> So you can imagine my surprise when I got a phone call from a town where Frank lived, Smithville, Texas. And this guy said he was the head of a gala committee. They were putting up a gala to celebrate the fact that this meeting that Frank and I had started 20 years ago was still going on. Oh, man. I was really looking forward to hearing that old man talk. I used to love to hear him talk, although he almost always said the same damn thing. My name's Frank R. I'm unquestionably a drunk. I'm a liar. I'm a cheat. I'm a thief. By attempting to make peace with my maker this morning, I haven't found it necessary to take a drink all day today. <laughs> God, I love to hear him talk. Called him on the phone. His wife answered. I said, Evelyn, let me talk to Frank. This is John Henry. And she said, uh, he's busy right now, son. Uh, what can I do for you? I said, well, I told her all about the gala. I told her all about the go eat some barbecue. I told her all about the he's going to be talking out there. And she interrupted me. She said, Honey, you ain't been out here for a while, have you? And I said, no, ma'am, I haven't. She said, well, Frank's losing his memory. He's not doing real good. You come on out here. You all go to the, to the gala and get yourself some barbecue. He's not going to be talking in front of no crowd. And I want to stay real close to that old man. I talked there that night. He sat right in the front, right in the front. Afterwards, I stepped out off that stage, and I looked out. There was a line of people about as far as the eye could see waiting to shake that old man's hand, thank him for all the good he's done in that community. I went home that night with him, stopped into the house, talking to him and Evelyn. I got up to go, he went with me. When I got up the car, he was standing between me and that car, and he looked up at me. He said, you seem to have a good thing going, John Henry, now don't fuck it up. <laughs> Last thing that old man said to me. Believe it's true When the sky is darkest it's still blue Clouds are bound to part, they always do But I'm still lonely living without you Believe it's true One ain't good for nothing, only two Without a finish line you never would be through but I'm still lonely living without you You know that lately I've been thinking About this life's great mystery Head scratching, dire rumination When I can find the words Bring you back to me Believe it's true Takes a couple notes to make a tune Morning bumping into night, that's afternoon But I'm still lonely living without you 
You know that lately I've been thinking About this life's great mystery Head scratching, dire rumination Hoping I can find the words to bring you back to me Believe it's true Takes a couple notes to make a tune Morning bumping in the night, that's afternoon And I'm so lonely living without you Believe it's true When the sky is dark as it's still blue Clouds are bound to part, they always do And I'm so lonely living without you Without you Without you Without you Next phone call I got from Smithville, Texas is one that I've been dreading from a church up there. They wanted me to come and talk at Frank's funeral. I told them I would. I left the guitar behind. <laughs> he always wanted me to leave that guitar behind. I talked for about an hour. Afterwards, I stepped down. Got in the car and headed for the house. I had time to think about that old man in my life. And when we were younger, I remembered him being a big man. But yet, that fellow that we buried that day only stood about five foot seven inches tall. And in the last three years of his life or so, he'd faded away. We'd let him go that afternoon. And when I thought about Frank Roberts, I couldn't imagine him fading away from nothing. So I wrote this song. <laughs> Marching on, won't you come after up to a place? I see it now, a warm embrace, old friends and laughter, pull up a chair, sit for a while. Be long. I won't be long if you should miss. If you me, should miss, I'll save the place. I'll save the place right by my side. Right by my side, right down the hall. Right down the hall. The captain's table. The captain's table. The candles lit. The evening's bright. Save me a place there at your table. Save me a place there at the table side So little time I wasn't able Tell our stories now we've got the time No sun to set, no sun to set No moon arising, no, rise. no night to shade No night to shade the day behind, the day behind. No thunder cloud, no thunder cloud on the horizon. Pleasant voices on the night. Save me a place there at the table. Save me a place there at the fireside. So little time I wasn't able to share our stories. Now we've got the time. No 
sun to set, no sun to set, no moon to rise, no moon to rise, no night to shade, no night to shade, day behind, day behind, no thunder cloud, no thunder cloud on the horizon, on the horizon, celestial voices humming.